good morning my dear children our first unit is over and uh, we done the worksheets also today also i will give you one worksheet based on the first unit in the evening okay now we can start our second unit name of the unit tales and tunes tales and tunes the second unit tales and tunes in the friend or in the beginning of the unit we can see a picture can you identify the birds and animals in the picture can you which are the animals and the birds in the picture how can you connect the pictures to the title pictures to the title tales and tunes this type of stories we can name it as fables that is normally animals and birds are characters animals and birds are characters we can name that type of stories as fables especially to arouse interest of children fables are created or fables are telling by elders here in the beginning march 20 is the world storytelling day march 20 is the world storytelling day stories have come down to us from our elders and books stories once heard must be passed on if we don't we if we don't the stories and the art of storytelling will slowly disappear from the earth here march 20 it is the world storytelling day world storytelling day do you like to listen stories what's your opinion most of the children i think all of the children like stories what kind of stories would you like to listen what kind of stories do you like to listen what kind of stories these stories that are familiar to us are tell us by grandparents that most of the stories their characters are animals birds etc our grandparents grandmother or grandfather and some other else tells us stories in young child okay now most of the children like stories also now in your page number 36 you can see a grandmother and a child his name is vimal he is in front of his grandmother and listening her stories all of you read this part vimal's grandmother telling stories to vimal all of you read that passage or that part page number 36 okay all of you read i will read for you vimal is a lucky boy vimal is a lucky boy he has a grandmother who tells him lots of stories every night at bed time there is a story for him what fantastic stories grandmother has told vimal stories of animals and birds of clever and senseless people of magic and music stars and sages and many more one day vimal asked his grandmother is stories go on trees 
she laughed and said no not on trees then where do we get the stories from the man asked i got from my grandmother i got from my grandmother i in turn tell you vimal remember to tell your friends these stories so that they can also enjoy them but vimal said no i don't want to tell them any of these stories they are my stories my treasure i don't want to give them away don't be silly my boy stories are mean to be told listen and tell that's the law of the story story kingdom is grandmother said what do you understand by reading this passage or reading this story here grandmother is telling stories that is stories of birds animals magic and music to his to her grand son vimal she told him vimal remember to tell your friends these stories what is the reply of vimal no i don't want to tell them any of these stories i don't want to tell them any of these stories so that they can also enjoy them then he said no i don't want to tell them any of these stories they are my stories and my treasures i don't want to give them away i don't want to give them away grandmother said don't be silly my boy stories are meant to be told listen and tell that's the law of the story kingdom his grandmother said he want question for you what is your opinion about grandmother's statement what is your opinion about grandmother's statement do you agree with the grandmother grandmother said don't be silly my boy stories are meant to be told stories are meant to be told do you agree with the grandmother what is your opinion hmm yes or no i really agree with the grandma's statement stories which are which we hear are to be passed from generation to generation we hear stories these stories are to be passed from generation to generation okay all of you heard lots of stories from your grandparents friends elders okay here we can familiarize one storyteller his name is of famous storyteller is of is a slave greek slave who lived in 600 bc in fact write the fables he told never they have been orally passed down they have been orally only orally passing from generation to generation they still lives in the minds of the people his of fables are still live in the minds of the people such a fable is of fable you can see on page number 37 what is a fable you can see in your textbook fable is a traditional short story that teaches a moral traditional short story that teaches a moral especially one with the animals as characters fables are traditional stories short stories it has a moral and the characters are animals and birds characters are animals and birds so okay all of you read the is of fable a rich voyager to arms as well okay all of you read okay all of you read ready i will read for you a rich voyager from athens was on a voyage with two companions 
in the coast sorry the course of their voyage a violent storm blew up and capsized the ship the companions tried to swim ashore but the rich voyager kept calling on dina the goddess of athens and promised to her lavish offerings if he escaped one of his shipwrecked companions as he swam past shouted to him don't leave it all to edina use your arms as well use your arms as well it has a message has a message what's the message of this story what's the message what happened during the course of the voyage voyage what happened three com- two companions and the voyage a rich voyager from athens voyage with the two companions in the course of their voyage what happened a violent storm blew up a violent storm do you know storm okay a violent storm blew up and the uh, and it took capsis with the ship the companions tried to swim the companions tried to swim but what did the rich voyager do he prayed to edina the goddess and uh, uh, he promises her lavish offerings if he escaped one of his shipwrecked companion as he swam past told him or shouted to him don't leave it all to edina use your arms as well use, use your arms as well understand use your arms as well what message does the fable convey what message god will not come to the aid of those who refuse to try and help themselves we must exert ourselves if we want to succeed the other two companions are swimming very fast but here this rich voyager is only praying to goddess he didn't take any action to save his life okay you understand this story understand understand about esop and his fable now listen here some proverbs are given what's a proverb have you heard about proverb proverbs are the power houses of language what's a proverb power houses of language that is it says a lot of a lot in few sentences or few words it says a lot in few words understand a lot in few words that is the ocean in a pot can you uh, can you include an ocean in a pot is it possible no but proverbs a lot in few words values are reflecting that is universal themes are reflecting through proverbs okay universal truths are reflecting through proverbs here in your textbook you can see on page number 38 three proverbs which are the don't cry over spilt milk god helps those who help themselves the early bird catches the worm barking dogs seldom bite four proverbs are given which of these can be taken as the moral of the story which of these can be taken as the moral of the story which one 
can you say god helps those who help themselves that is the moral of the story god helps those who help themselves here we find the rich voyager simply praying to edina without taking any initiative on his own okay unless he uses his arms and swims he is not going to be saved success in life depends mostly on our hard work to depends on our hard work okay understand the second proverb is the moral of the story okay all of you mark then you can find out the meaning of the proverbs the four proverbs and write in your notebook two proverbs are given a friend in need is a friend indeed god helps those who help themselves then some proverbs that is five proverbs and its meaning are given okay five proverbs and its meaning are given match the proverbs and the meaning one is that you can do it by referring books or dictionary or any other books you can write or you can find out the meaning of the proverbs then a website address is given here is of fables website do you have enough time you can read the story father and his sons the fox and the lion the fox and the god the lion and the bulls mercury and the workman hmm? and find out the moral it is also a homework do you have do you get these stories you can read otherwise i will give you the answer after all today we start a new lesson that is to uh, tales and tunes through this unit we studied about fables especially aesop's fables the uh, what's a fable traditional short story which teaches a moral then we studied about proverbs what's a proverb we studied powerhouses of language lots of information in or lots of lots in few words we can shortly say a lot in few words in a few words that is a proverb a friend in need is a friend indeed god helps those who helps in helps themselves those who help themselves these are examples of proverbs proverb and meaning are given find out its meaning then we have enough time you can read these of fables and find out its moral in the evening i will give you the first unit worksheet all of you do it now today with this homeworks we can wind up class thank you